Welcome to this TBC tutorial, which you can find here on the Trivial Business Center tutorials page. We are going through the importing GNSS data tutorial and we showcase here the PDF um, steps that you can follow when you download the data. I always extracted here some exceptions that you can see in this yellow box. And so we start here after generating the project to import first our GNSS control data through the import dialog that you can find on the home page. After we import the control point, then we can take a look at the properties of this control point, which you can find here when you right click the point when after you're selecting it. We can see that the ground control point has here the different icons on the positions and showing us that the height is a survey grade and therefore we can here continue with the next step which will be to import our GNSS static data which is also delivered with our zip file in the demo data. We import the zip file and the data will be extracted and imported into our project. We can then see our receiver raw data check dialog and here we can just uh, go through the tabs but we don't need to change anything. So we can just here hit the OK button to get the data inside. If you want to have more information you can hit the F1 button and get the help and search for check in raw GNSS data. And here we can have different steps showing us also how to change here entries in the table and also what you need to take care of when you import raw data. After we imported then the raw data, we will now as next take a look here on our control points. And uh, one of the next steps is then to merge two ground control points, which are identical, which is the FS16406A and the FSI itself. And therefore, we will zoom in into this area and search from the survey, the merge points function. Uh, after we find these two ground control points, we can drag a box around them. And then on the merge points dialog, we can now here expand the view. And we need to define which one is our final option, which will be our FSI uh, one. 6406 one, but we will also include the FSY itself. Then we say OK, and then these points are merged. Uh, we can still see in the properties that both informations are um, allocated to this one, um, but we will then in this case here continue with this one merged one. We see here the red bulb uh, showing us that we still need to compute a project because there were changes happening to our project. So you can just hit the red bulb or hit F4 that this will then be part of our Trimble project. And that's it. So we are now already here. We can now start to go to survey internet download and download uh, here course data for this data set itself. Uh, we define here um, the, a new site and um, we download then for this data set our um, reference station data. After the download um, is finished, we will then see in our dialog on the pane on the right side, then the downloaded data, and then we can select this one to continue. So here it is, we can, we will choose the Marshall field P041. And after selecting this one, we can just hit OK. Of course, the data should be within a close range. Best would be closer than 200 kilometers. Um, in our case, the data for this course demo data is fine. We don't need to change anything. It's a public data set. We can say just OK. And then also after selecting it here, also just OK. Then we uh, will import now automatically from the time frame the needed data. So if this is a multi selection and you would have from the drop down box to select the time frame you want. For us, it's a single one only. We say OK. And then 
we have a new tab opening up, number one, and the download appears. After all the download is done, we could now, in this case, start to import the data for this reference station. Um, but you could also define the different actions. When you see here the drop-down boxes, you can then say which ones you want and which ones not. But we will use all of them, we import them. Um, and for this reference uh, station, uh, receiver uh, station data, again, we will not change anything here. We will just hit the OK button, but you can see here antenna information uh, existing for it. Additionally, to our reference station data, we will also download orbits. And we will here, because this is already in the past, use the IGS final orbits and download them here which will then again start in a new tab. And additionally also we will use the GLONASS uh, orbits uh, for this data set. So after the download for the um, IGS final ones is done, we will then again navigate um, to the um, GLONASS ones and the GLONASS orbits are again automatically downloaded for this time uh, frame. After the then this will be downloaded into the tab number three. And now we still need to select them and import them. So we will then select um, the tab number two, which is now done and import them. And the same thing we will do for tab number three, which is also done and import the data for our project. After the import for the IGS final and the GLONASS is done, <clears throat> then we will continue with the next step, which will be, in our case, um, an autophoto uh, reference image that we will then uh, import for this data. So we will go here to home and then hit the import button, go to our data set that we already have and select the TIFF file. And then we will import this TIFF file to our project. After the autophoto has been added, uh, we will not take a look into this report file, it's a warning, but then we will here zoom in into our autophoto area. And then we want to make this autophoto um, accessible or selectable. And um, also in case your computer is slow, here an, there's an option how you can still handle on a slow computer uh, to still take have a chance to look at the georeferenced image. But we will not change this here. So we go to the viewing tab and here we have advanced view filter settings. And when you scroll down, then you can see the georeferenced image as an entry. And here we can then set the checkbox for selectable. And then we can also access this georeference image and take a look at the properties. We can do this by going on the upper right corner of the georeference image, select it, right click properties, and then you see for the georeference image, the properties um, for this photo. This is um, our preparation and thank you for watching. Goodbye.